YouTube, it's Amy. I haven't made an update in a little while, so I thought I would make a video, and I'm multitasking right now. I'm going to talk to you guys as I fold some laundry. Uh, I seem to have a lot less free time right now because the kids are off, and they want to be busy, and they want to go here, and they want to go there, and whatnot. Um... I think on my last update, I should have gone back and watched, um, I was going to be having my um, sigmoidoscopy, um, which is a colonoscopy, uh, but they just go in a very short distance, um, maybe two feet, and um, you're awake for that. And the prep was horrific. Uh, TMI, this uh, video is um, going to be about poop and stuff. Um, when I did my prep, it was extremely painful. Um, I seem to be having a lot of um, undigested food uh, coming out of me. Um, I have a hard time eating anything right now that is hard for the body to digest. I have to chew, 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 chew. Uh, any salad, fruit, vegetables, I cannot do. They go, they come out just as they come in. Um, and I also have a ton of mucus uh, and blood coming out of me. So um, it's pretty scary. Went in. Uh, at first, he said that I, I looked good, and then um, he found a lot of little pimple-looking things inside me um, and ended up taking about 10 samples. Um, this was last Monday, and it was holiday, so it took a while to get the results back, but I emailed my my doctor and the GI doctor who is now transferring me to a new doctor for a second opinion I emailed both of them and I heard a response from my personal care doctor and she said that the results um, were uh, patches of acute and chronic inflammation what I've learned from online is that uh, IBS, um, irritable bowel syndrome, does not cause um, inflammation, uh, not chronic inflammation. And um, I did read that you can get irritation and acute inflammation from uh, using... Um, um, stuff for the prep, the, the citrus, magnesium, and um, anything to clean you out. So uh, the acute stuff can be from that, but the chronic inflammation, I don't know. She emailed me and she said, you need to talk to the GI doctor, which I have an appointment on Wednesday um, with with the new doctor, but uh, she mentioned um, that I need to talk about him, this being inflammatory bowel disease, which would be um, colitis, uh, um, ultra, ultra U, UC colitis or Crohn's disease, um, and that's quite scary. Um, My mom has or was diagnosed with colitis 10 years ago. Uh, she has flare-ups from time to time, but it never got to the point where she needed to go to the hospital or anything like that. But she did drop a lot of weight. Um, she had to be put on medication. And I guess it, it can be hereditary. It is a, um autoimmune disease and... As you guys know, my dad has an autoimmune disease, uh, amyloidosis, and my mom has an autoimmune disease, uh, colitis. So 
it definitely is in my family. Um, I am a researcher. I keep going online and looking things up, and of course I'm getting totally stressed out about stuff. Um, I can't find people um, that have colitis with my surgery and how they deal with that. Um, I do read about doctors not wanting to do the vertical sleeve on people that have uh, colitis or Crohn's disease. I think in most most cases people that have these diseases are mal uh, have malnutrition um, so they're thinner or their system is so messed up that they're stuck in like starvation mode and their body keeps everything. So um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to deal with this, but I ran a half marathon yesterday, and before I ran that marathon, I thought, well, um, if I can run this and I'm fine, my running isn't contributing to whatever's going on or isn't going to make it worse. Uh, by the fourth mile mark, I was looking for the med tent. I was having extreme squeezing and cramping in my stomach. Didn't see that med tent, so I kept going. Just in my head, I was fighting it. I can finish this. Should I go to the med tent? I'm not dying. Should I just keep running? So I kept running. I finished it. Uh, as soon as I stopped, I felt absolutely terrible. Um, I was running with, with Erica, um, which this is her second half marathon, so happy for her. Um, her husband was driving, thank God, because I felt so bad. I felt burning, pressure, pain, nausea. I felt like I was going to throw up. I didn't have anything. I actually ran the whole math, half marathon on um, maybe six ounces of water because I didn't, couldn't put anything in. So... Came home, train wreck, took uh, uh, Tylenol PM so I could just sleep through the pain. Um, all day I was in bad, bad shape. I I'm okay today. I feel sore um, from yesterday, but I'm able to function and I'm getting through the day. But yesterday was really, really bad day. Um, so I don't know... If the stress of the running is just too much on my system, um, but my husband said that I'm not allowed to run until I give him a doctor's note saying I can run, which of course got me extremely upset because, like I've told you guys before, my running, me being able to run still is the only thing that's making me feel like I'm still normal and still healthy. Um... My, my weight's still down, but I feel I'm bloated all the time, so I don't feel as thin, I guess. I told my mom, I'm like, I'm gaining weight back, right? I've only gained three three or four pounds back. Um, my weight will fluctuate some because of the swelling, but I feel flabbier. I feel like, because I'm not able to get out there and work out as hard as I, I was before, I just don't feel as muscular and, and fit. I truly think I'm losing muscle. Um, my diet has completely shifted to from what I was eating before because I, I just can't eat it. I can't eat any fruits and vegetables. I'm eating uh, rice, which I never ate before, but it sits okay in my stomach. Um, I'm still eating egg whites. That helps. Protein shakes, I can't. I can't do a lot of protein shakes because I'm dumping as well as whatever's going on. As soon as it goes in, I start getting uh, extreme cramping and sharp, like, pinching pains um, uh, within two minutes of drinking the shake. The coldness and the, f the speed that it's going through my system, 
Um, I can eat brown rice, uh, low-fat cheese quesadillas. They go in fine. I eat a lot of that. I eat rice cakes with a really thin layer of peanut butter on it. I can eat oatmeal. I'm eating all these carbs just to keep my, my um, calories up and... I feel like I'm really down on the protein, but protein is so hard for the body to digest. It's not doing well with me. I hope and pray that this doctor I see on Wednesday can give me some answers. Uh, maybe I'll have a diagnosis, or maybe I'll have to go in and do a whole colonoscopy now so they can look and see in other areas um, where the problem might lie. But that's where I'm at, guys. I didn't even fold any laundry while I'm talking to you. But you're in my garage. See all my stuff? Yeah. My garage is scary. See you soon. Bye.